a bit of background on this project. This is um, something that we ask final year students to undertake at the point really where they're just about to graduate. It's their final project that they work on as a, as a whole year group. And we've been running this project for five years now. And the thinking behind it is to um, encourage students to think about what their skills and attributes are at the point where they're about to enter the market. Uh, BA Design Futures is a long-standing degree and we have a number of uh, graduates out there in the market filling a number of roles. But the title of the degree itself doesn't actually tell a potential employer much about what that graduate is capable of doing. So we ask students to think about what they believe their skills and attributes are and how they can best articulate that in uh, a novel and innovative way. My name is Abe. Uh, I work for an IT company in Manchester called YOI Systems. Um, I'm the head of graphic design not there um, and I'm going to graduate this year in July. My name's Annette Clark Dahl. Uh, I'm the lead designer for the UK chapter of the Modified Dolls and I graduate in 2013. Yeah, my name's Akil Arif. I'm a graphic designer for Elite Magazine and I'll be graduating in July 2013. Um, my name's Kayleigh Powell and um, I'll be graduating, graduating from Design Futures um, this summer 2013. My name is Lucy Barber, I'm currently a Design Futures student and I'll be graduating in 2013. Yep, my name is Robin Goodswin, I will be graduating this year, which is 2013. I'd like to do something to do with maybe concept art or development work, like creative development, that sort of thing. Um, anything where I get to basically use my design thinking. My aspirations once I've graduated university is to be working in a creative industry um, within a team and putting the skills to practice that I've learned throughout university. What does it I think it means to me, it means um, it's about solving problems. Um, as Aki was saying, there's about research, you know, development work. Uh, but my particular area would be to have a good concept to back the design. Uh, the stage of the design thinking process that I enjoy the most is. Um, the, the, like, the research uh, side of things, so looking at, at posts on the internet and watching um, cooking shows uh, and um, getting involved on Twitter and talking to people about what it is that they, they want to see next and what they like and uh, just generally immersing myself within food porn, I think that's, I think that's the bit I like the most. Um, I enjoy the most just after I've finished my research and I'm starting to accumulate ideas and I'm starting to put them down to paper and I just get to sit around and play around with different ideas. Mine would be that point where you've done a lot of research, give yourself a cutoff point saying yeah that I think I've done enough and then that part where you think I know what I'm going to do for my final piece, not exactly how I'm going to do it and what I'm going to go about but I know the idea of what I want and you're like, oh God, I'm nearly there. That's, that's my favourite part. It's my. the research process. A lot of people find this process the most difficult, but for me, it enlightens me. It takes me down different paths and it helps me to take my projects into areas that I never thought I'd be able to do uh, without research. Design thinking skills that I've learned throughout my time at university is vital to be able to go into the design industry because it shows that you can communicate the research process that you've gone through to be able to get to the final, the final point of the project. Um, so I think that'll be really useful for me to go into to be able to communicate to brands and companies why, why we've got to the, the particular point. Uh, I also think the skills that I've learned within the pitching team and the engagement team that I've been doing throughout my final year project 
it would be really useful for me to go out into the industry and use because I've been able to realise the importance of networking, networking with people and... Like, I don't know, like pretty much everything I've learnt on the course. I mean, when I started the course, I knew very little about design, uh, on the, especially within the industry. Um, I, I did have, I had, uh, I had experience within social media, but not to the level that I've had now. Um, using programs, you know, Photoshop and, uh, and InDesign and just generally getting out there and meeting people. I didn't have any of that kind of experience. So, I'll te so it, for me, the last two years have just been fantastic, life-changing. It will definitely be the teamwork that we've been throughout three years. It's a lot of teamwork, working with other people, uh, understanding how to uh, communicate with other people from different backgrounds and also the research process we've done. I feel like our course is more about design thinking and more about researching before you come up with an idea and a lot of other courses come up with an idea and then just work from around that. We go into look into pure detail of what we're going to do before it actually happens. I did one project on uh, character development uh, that I really enjoyed because I just got, around, got to sit around and draw for most of my project. Of course I did the research and everything first, but I am a pen and paper person and I really like drawing, so to have a project where I could just sit around and draw different ideas all day and then make a really nice rendered illustration at the end, that was really, really great. Uh, mine will is the SD3 project as well, uh, which is very important to me at the moment because uh, this project is about to let design students know what kind of opportunities are there for them after graduation. Uh, I'm looking at three major issues, which is uh, job availability, economic climate, and uh, what kind of opportunities are out there, like internships and stuff like that. So at the moment, it's it's the it's this six seconds of illumination project. I think it's. I think it's really cool. It's, it's given us the opportunity to go out and meet people. It's given us um, the chance to showcase our different skill sets. And just in, just in general, it's been really, really interesting. And uh, so I'm going to say six seconds of illumination is the most, uh, my favourite uh, piece of work that we've done so far. My moment of illumination has been coming onto this course because it's opened my eyes to the opportunities within the creative industry and the design industry that I wish to go into. It was when I realised that it was production design that I wanted to work in. Um, I helped out um, with a few of my friends on who were, who were on the media production course on some of their modules and I realised that it was that industry I wanted to go into but on the more creative side so I'd like to work in an art department.